Uh, next topic is command line arguments. How we can uh, receive command line arguments from uh, uh, the uh, from a from well, like from the uh, programming standpoint, you know, from program standpoint. So how to pass command line arguments, and uh, then we are going to. So this is a case that uh, you know we're going to actually use the command line execution of uh, your application. Uh, then we're going to see how we can pass command line arguments on NetBeans and Eclipse. How to pass command line argument? Basically, you are going to specify the set of arguments right after your application. So um, basically, Java application can accept any number of arguments from the command line. So command line arguments could be useful to change the behavior of your application. So applications might actually uh, execute a different business logic depending on the values of those arguments, okay? uh, de depending on the presence and the values of those arguments. Uh, the user enters the command line arguments when invoking the application and specifies them after the name, after the name of the main class to run. So let's see an application. Let's see an example. Suppose if you have a Java application called the sort. So I say Java sort, and then the rest of uh, the things uh, are considered as arguments. Okay, and so these, uh, in this case, five arguments are going. Five arguments will be captured as uh, the uh, string array. Uh, the, these arguments need to be separated by spaces. So those arguments will be captured as a string array like this. Okay. So if we run Java and sort application and pass these five arguments and these five arguments will be captured as a string array of args. Okay, so arc 0 will point to 5, and the arc 1 will point 4, and arc 2 will point 3, and so on. Okay, and these are captured as string values, by the way. Okay, so this is the complete code. So we have received uh, the uh, those arguments, and then in this case, we are just displaying the values. So it will display the values of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and things like that. Uh, conversion of command line arguments. As I said, uh, the command line arguments are captured in a form of string array, right? So if you want to, comp if you want to perform some computation uh, on those, uh, you know, values, then you have to convert into int type or long type or whatever. So we have already learned there is a parse int static method from integer class. So basically, if I want to convert arg zero meaning the first element of the args array uh, from a string type to int type, uh, we can actually have this code. Okay. Uh, if the value again does not, uh, it, it cannot be converted to values. Uh, if the user, you know, the first argument x, y, z somehow, instead of uh, 23 of 35 or something like that, then uh, number format exception could occur. Okay, code guidelines. So usually when you are dealing with the command line arguments, it's always a good idea to check the number of arguments before uh, the, uh, doing something, before you are performing business logic. So if you expect uh, the number of arguments are five, need to be five, then you just check the length of the arguments to five. And uh, if it is not five, then you can just display the message, invalid number of arguments, please enter five arguments or something like that. If the number of arguments are five, and then you can actually perform your business logic. Okay, so exercise one is read command line arguments. So let's take a look at the lab documentation. And uh, so here we are going to build an application uh, using command line tools. So we are going to uh, so we go to uh, my Java programs directory. And uh, we are going to create hello command line ja hello command line argument Java. So I'm going to use a Notepad and uh, 
then we are going to copy this code. So this code is pretty straightforward. You know, we are uh, expecting, uh, we are expecting, uh, so if the argument zero is zero, if there is no arguments, then we just exit out. Uh, if the number of arguments is greater than zero, then we are just displaying those values. Okay, uh, pretty straightforward. We are using for loop to display those arguments. Okay, so pretty straightforward. So let's just save this guy. And uh, then we are going to compile. Okay, so we compile it and then we are going to run it. So here we are just passing some three uh, names and uh, then it will say David, Charles, and Young. Okay, so if you give a another one, uh, XYZ, then you should actually display uh, XYZ as the last argument. Uh, pretty straightforward. So next one is uh, we are going to write the uh, my computer Java. So in this case, we want to convert the string type into int type. Okay. So we are using parse int. Okay. So let's uh, my computer Java. So let's create notepad. And uh, we are going to copy this code. And save it. And we are going to compile Java C. My compute Java. OK, so now we are going to run Java, Java, my compute. And uh, 23 and 45. So we are just uh, compute. The, the, uh, the addition and multiplication. Now, if you actually try to give a wrong number, you know, instead of a number, let's say you have X, Y, Z, then, uh, you know, you're going to experience this Java lang number format exception. Okay. So that is the code. All right. Uh, let me just finish up the presentation and uh, I'll let you guys do the lab. Okay, so what about uh, the uh, the uh, uh, IDE? How can you pass command line arguments in NetBeans? So basically, you are going to pass arguments. Uh, so you're going to actually, let me actually show it here. So, uh, you know, suppose I have a hello command line arguments application, then you go to the properties uh, and uh, properties here and you click the run. And this is where you can pass some arguments, okay? So here, uh, test one, test two, test three, two, and test three, something like that, okay? And uh, then when you run the application, run the application, it will capture those, uh, the arguments. Okay, so that's what you see. Uh, test one, test two, and test three. That is for NetBeans. Uh, for Eclipse, uh, basically you are doing pretty much the same thing. So here you go to uh, my hello, hello world command line arguments. Uh, you are going to right click it here and properties. And uh, then you are going to, uh, well actually, yeah, you have to actually do configuration. I'm sorry. So here, uh, you know, run and the run configuration and uh, so you know I already created a configuration hello command line argument so that is basically for that configuration uh, you can set the arguments here so here I'm going to program arguments sanction j passion and come java something like that five arguments okay and we say apply or we can just call run and then it will take those arguments Right? So that's the way you can pass arguments in uh, Eclipse application. All right, so that is the end of this presentation, relatively straightforward. So I'll give you guys about 10 minutes to try this exercise.